So we're gonna wrap everything up and you guys, this will be public on YouTube forever so you can watch it as many times as you want. Now, here's what we're gonna cover today in this video. First off, five niches that you can target as a beginner if you are going out to the market for the first time or even if you are a veteran who already has experience with email copywriting and you're just looking for the best niches, low hanging niches to target. I'm gonna talk about those, my personal opinion here. Then we'll talk about five ways that you can package up and offer email marketing as a service to clients. We'll talk about how the, the five steps to get your first client in 30 days and also how to scale to 100K plus per year writing emails for clients as a done for you service. So let's first talk about the five different niches that you can target if you're doing done for you email marketing, email copywriting. I am yet to find a niche that can't benefit from email marketing. Works for any business, any niche, any product, any service, any industry. As long as you're selling to someone who can read, another human being, right, that can read, it's gonna work for you or it's gonna work for your clients, whoever you're targeting. Now, that being said, there are some low hanging fruit niches, some niches that are better than others to target. So here are five low, low hanging fruit niches that I recommend to target as clients, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate or veteran. So niche number one is e-commerce. So when I say e-commerce, that could, e-commerce means anything sold online, but I'm, I'm referring specifically to businesses that sell physical products online in this case. Now, you, this is probably obvious. If you look at your email inbox, you probably have a ton of emails, flash sale, discount coupons from retail stores, whether they're brick and mortar or online. So I believe this is gonna be a record year for sales and online sales. I don't have to mention why, I don't wanna get demonetized, but I think Black Friday and Cyber Monday, it's gonna be a record year for sales. And that's right around the corner. It's about a month or two away, and more people are online, more people are buying, at home from their the comfort of their home than ever before. They're not going into stores as much for, again, obvious reasons. So I think e-commerce is, that's this is probably the lowest hanging fruit that it gets. They already understand that email is important. They are already sending emails. They just need help sending better emails and better maybe setting up some email automations there. So e-commerce, number one. Number two is online health, fitness, and personal training. Now, this is anyone who sells any kind of online health, fitness, or personal training products or programs online. This niche is exploding since everyone is stuck at home and they can't go to the gym as much. They can't go in person to meet up with their trainers. So you can help these companies, these online health, fitness, personal training companies, sell more of their training programs, their merchandise, their workout gear, equipment, supplements, whatever they're selling, you can help them sell more of online using email. So niche number three is online education and e-learning. Now, I have a special place in my heart for online education and e-learning. One of my businesses is an online education company. And so you guys probably know how much I love this industry, but these are businesses that sell education and information online. Ebooks, online courses, coaching programs, online summits, online academies, uh, membership programs, any kind of business or individual or influencer who sells information or education online. Now, this is another niche that's exploding since people can't really go to school right now and they're being forced to find other ways to learn new skills and just get an education. So I have two siblings who are still in school. My, my brother who's in high school, he can't, he, his go back to school date has been postponed a few times now due to, you probably know what I'm talking about. And my sister is in graduate school and she can't go into class. She's learning everything virtual and this is a topic for another time, but they're they're scamming here. They're making them pay the same amount that she would if she were to go into class and go through labs and all that stuff. So she's learning virtually. My brother hasn't even started school yet. And it's just, it's just a mess right now, right? People are being forced to look up these online education companies, these e-learning companies and publishers and finding new ways to learn new skills and get an education, right? So another industry, multi-billion dollar industry, by the way, super fast growing online education, e-learning. This is, this is my favorite industry on this list. Number four is professional services. So this is coaches, consultants, service providers selling high ticket solutions. You can help them book more phone calls that lead to high ticket and, and large size deals, right? So anyone, I mean, coaches kind of fit into number three here as well, but anyone who's selling some kind of high ticket service or some kind of coaching or consulting program or even one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can use email to help them book more phone calls that lead to those clients and to those new deals and new revenue for their business. Number five is software. So businesses that sell any kind of software. You can help both B2B and B2C companies in the software space get more sales of their software. Or if they're in the high ticket B2B space, you can help them get more demos booked or appointments booked or phone calls booked for potential customers and clients to see their software and demo their software before signing up. 
right? So these are five niches that you can target. I have been in one, two, I have been in four of these in some capacity. Uh, I haven't been too much in the online health, fitness, and personal training space, but e-commerce, online education, e-learning, professional services, and software, I've been in all of those industry, industries before. So if you are starting and, tar and, use, and offering email marketing as a service, these are five low-hanging fruit niches that I would start with. You don't have to pick one of these, but this is personally what I'd pick, and in my opinion, these are the best five to start with. That will be the easiest to sell this as a service to. So we just talked about niches. Let's talk about five ways that you can package up and offer email marketing as a done for you service to clients that pay thousands of dollars per month to do so. Right, so number one is daily emails and it's exactly what it sounds like. Writing an email a day or every weekday for clients. Now, if you sell this to a company who isn't mailing daily, let's just say they're emailing once per week or once every other week or even once per month in some cases, you can help them dramatically increase their sales. I'm talking double, triple, even quadruple their sales, depending on what they're currently doing. So it's a very impactful service if you help a company that isn't mailing daily and you go in and help them do that. So this is what I recommend you start with because first off, you have a huge impact on the sales of the business and you can also charge a recurring uh, fee for this service. So if you're doing daily emails, let's just say once per weekday, that's 20 emails per month it's very viable for you to charge two, three, four, even 5K per month to write them these 20 emails per month. And the best part is you get to learn and you get to earn while you learn, right? As you are doing the service and writing an email every day for the client, you get better at this skill, you get to sharpen the skill and you're doing it on someone else's, on your client's dime and you're helping them make more sales in return while also getting better at this lucrative money-making skill of writing emails that sell. Right, so daily email is probably my number one recommendation to start with if you are just getting getting started with offering email marketing as a service for clients. Number two, automation sequences. So this is creating automated sequences like abandoned cart, pre-purchase, nurture, new customer welcome, win back or retention or VIP sequences, any kind of automated sequence that gets your client new sales, new customers, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, on autopilot without them lifting a finger. Okay. So this is a very, it's a very attractive thing to want to offer to clients, but it's a little trickier because it's not, it doesn't have recurring built into it, right? So what we do is we charge a high upfront fee. Uh, we charge 75 to 10K depending on what they need. And then we charge a percentage of whatever the sequences is that we set up. So let's just say we, we set up an abandoned cart sequence for them if they didn't already have it set up or we make it better we have a percentage of sales uh, built into the deal that we get for all the sales that come in through that sequence, all right? So requires, it's a little trickier to sell than daily emails where you can just go to a company and say, hey, I can help you double your sales by emailing more and emailing better, right? With your daily email service. But automation sequences, we also, those are our two main core offerings at Growth Response for our done for you email service, all right? Daily emails, automation sequences. Number three is product launch emails. So you are creating an email sequence to help companies launch a new product. So this is great for info products, for startups, or even companies that sell physical products on sites like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, right? So any company that's launching a new product, you can go and help them with this product launch email service, help them get more sales of their product on the launch date or during the launch timeline, right? Number four, B2B emails. So this is creating emails for B2B business to business companies with email lists. And you're gonna help them generate more high ticket leads, appointments, and new clients for their business by using email, right? Number five is cold sales emails. So this is what we offered at Growth Response. And this is what got us to multiple six figures. We were offering just cold outbound sales emails and LinkedIn messaging, but we're moving away from this as our model and focused on helping businesses monetize their existing email list where people have chosen to opt in and to hear from the company or whoever our client is, right? But this is a very viable service to get you to 10K per month and beyond, whether you're doing it for your own clients or you're doing it for yourself to get clients, right? Cold sales emails and cold outreach, very effective, right? So. These are five ways that you can offer email marketing as a service. These are five services or five ways that I've offered it as a service, either for myself to generate sales for my businesses or as a service for clients, right? This is where I recommend you start with. Now, you should pick just one of these services, okay? Pick one of these services. Don't go and try to offer all five of these or you're gonna confuse your client, you're gonna confuse yourself, overwhelm yourself, and you're not gonna get any clients if, if they're confused, right? So pick one of these services, start with that, you can expand as needed as you go. Now, my recommendation is daily emails because it's an easy sell, it's recurring revenue, it is highly impactful for any clients that you do this for, 
and you get to earn while you learn, right? You get to sharpen the skill, the money-making skill of writing emails that sell by doing it for established businesses that already have a proven product or service, okay? So you are looking for my number one recommendation, definitely daily emails here. Now you can start, people also ask about pricing. You can start with, what, what I recommend you do is start with a number in your mind, a per email number in your mind. 100 to $200 per email is a good place to start, but you don't wanna tell the client, I charge $100 per email. You wanna sell it as a package if you're doing something like daily emails, right? So let's just say your number is 100 to $200. You can sell it as a package, a daily email package, $2,000 to $4,000 per month per client to write them 20 emails per month, every weekday, right? So you wanna have that number in your mind per an email. Don't tell the client that number. You wanna sell it as a package, especially if you're going with daily emails so you can charge that recurring per month uh, fee for that service. Now let's talk about five steps to get your first client in 30 days. If you're starting from scratch, what are the five steps you need to take to get your first client? Step number one, pick your niche. I gave you five low hanging fruit niches that I would pick, my personal opinion. Pick one of those or pick whatever niche that you're gonna go after and get started there, right? You gotta pick your niche, pick who you're gonna go after and target with your email marketing service. Step number two, pick the email service that you're gonna offer them. And it needs to make sense for the niche, right? You can't offer B2B sales emails or B2B emails to a B2C company or an e-commerce company, right? The service needs to make sense for the niche that you pick, okay? Number three, get good at writing emails. So go through video number four in this series uh, the last video and practice writing emails every day, right? Handwriting and typing out emails. And I give you some, some people to follow if you wanna get better at writing emails itself. Go back, watch video number four, get good at writing emails and practice doing this. This is a skill. Number four, go out and get clients using free methods. I have heaps of client acquisition videos on my channel, my YouTube channel for free. Go out, use those methods, go get your first client, right? You can do direct outreach through cold email. You can do it through direct social outreach on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever social profile you can do outreach to, you, to whoever your niches that you picked and use these free methods to get your first one to three clients. Number five, get results, get more clients and repeat, right? So step number one, pick your niche. Step number two, pick the email service that you're gonna offer them. Make sure that it makes sense for the niche. Number three is to get good at writing emails. You're gonna practice writing every day. Step number four is go out and get clients using free methods that I cover on my YouTube channel. And step number five, get results for your first client, get more clients and then repeat, right? So step number one through four is actually how you go and get your first client. And step number five is how you go get clients number two, three, four and five and, and so on and so forth. So these are the five steps. Don't effing overcomplicate this. I already covered this in a previous video, but don't overcomplicate this, right? Everyone wants to use all these different tactics like paid advertising and stuff to get their first client. Don't overcomplicate this. I just showed you exactly what you need to get your first client. These five steps here, don't overcomplicate this. It's simple, it works, especially to get your first client. It's how I grew growth response to 20K per month in just three months and how I did it again with our new done for you email marketing service using those five simple steps. Now, some of you may use this skill, right? When you get good at writing emails that sell, you may use this skill to sell your own coaching or your own consulting or your own info products or digital products, right? But let's just say that you wanna do this full time. You love working with clients and you wanna make six figures per year or even mid six figures per year writing emails for clients. Let's break down how to do that, how to scale to 100K plus per year writing emails for clients. Now, here's how to get to 100K. Here's a simple math, right? Let's just say you sell the service to one client. Let's just say you have a daily email service, you sell it to one client at $2,500 per month. So after one client, you're at $2,500 per month. Two clients, you're at 5K per month. Three clients, you're at $7,500 per month. And four clients, you're at 10K per month, right? This is for example, a daily email service where you're writing 20 emails per month per client. Now, if you have four clients at 10K per month, you're at 120K per year. And the best part, this is 100% profit, right? This is not like a paid advertising service where you take half of that and it goes to ad spend or whatever it is. This is 100% profit on this service on whatever the client is paying you. It costs you nothing to write emails and the client is paying for the email software themselves, right? You're not paying for the email software to send the actual emails. You are just writing the email copy and giving it over to your client, right? So all you're handing them is a Word doc, is, is words on a Google doc, right? You're giving them a Google doc and you're telling them what to write as a subject line, when to send it, and what to say in the email. 
that's it. And you're getting paid thousands of dollars to do that. It's a very simple service. It's 100% pure profit. There's no advertising costs that go into it. And all you're handing your client is a Google Doc. And if you are selling a daily email service at $2,500 per month, which you know comes out to that $100 to $200 per month range, you need four clients paying you that monthly service and you're already at 120K per year, right? 10K per month, right? So recap of what we covered. We talked about the five different niches that you can target with email marketing as a service, five ways that you can offer email marketing as a done for you service, five steps to get your first client in 30 days, and then how to scale to 100K plus per year writing emails for clients if you if you want to do just that if you don't want to create your own products or your own consulting